It is one of the busiest and smallest rooms in the house, which means making it messy is super easy. I'm talking about the bathroom, of course. Here with our top five tips to keep our bathrooms clean and clutter-free is organization coach and elementary school teacher, by the way, Vishal Lisani. Nice to have you on the show. Nice to see you again. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks for having me. All right. Um, Let's get yeah. right to this. Okay, your first tip <laughs> is the most important for making a bathroom feel clean and clutter-free. That is the counters. Walk us through. Right. So the secret to having a bathroom that always looks clean and organized is by having clear countertops. And in order to achieve this, um, you need to declutter and only keep what you actually use and need. You'll then have to organize this, these items in cabinets and drawers. And having a clear countertop eliminates visual clutter and makes it easy to wipe down the bathroom sink and keep the space clean. Okay, what's your tip number two? I understand it's, it's not only good for the environment, but for our clutter-free bathroom as well. Right, so I highly recommend buying matching bottles and then labeling them. Um, you can then purchase products in bulk and refill the bottles as needed. You can also bring your bottles to zero waste stores and mm -hmm. refill them there. This is better for the environment. You won't buy duplicates of products anymore and your bathroom will look like a spa. Oh, I love that. That one looks so good. Okay, next up, towels. Obviously, we need towels in our bathroom, but you've got a tip to keep them tucked away. Right. So having hooks for towels um, instead of a towel rack or a towel bar is just so much better. It makes it easier to hang the towels and they'll look so much neater. And also it, it helps if you label the rack with the names of the family mm. members so that the towels don't get mixed up, um, especially if you like to have matching towels, which will also help make the bathroom look much more organized. It certainly does. Okay. What do we do with like razors and Q-tips and that type of thing? Right. So you don't want to just dump all that stuff into the drawers. Um, you need to purchase acrylic or plastic organizers, bamboo ones, um, and then just categorize all the items in the different compartments. And if necessary, you can even label the organizers so that everything gets returned to the correct spot. That is a, okay. Can we just appreciate how much of a dream this drawer <laughs> is? Look at all the organization. Okay. Toothpaste Thank and you. toothbrushes. What do we do with those? Right, so this one's one of my favorites. I recommend purchasing an organizer or a toothpaste uh, dispenser. Um, and then what you can do is that uh, put all the items in there and that'll keep the items off of the counter mm. and also free up drawer space. And if you can mount it inside a cabinet, that really helps because then you can hide it away. These are such great tips. Thanks for, uh, for joining us this morning. Great, thank you so much. All right, have a good day. All right, now you it's too. over to Sonia. Oh my goodness, that scrunchy drawer. <laughs> that was amazing.